So this is my most recent prop, something I've always wanted to own, and now I have it. It is my mobster inspired violin case. It's got a uh, Tommy gun that breaks down and drops inside of this violin case. Now the uh, Tommy gun itself is actually an airsoft gun I picked up off of a company called Air Rattle. Got a really good deal on it. That's why I picked this sucker up. It's like an eight pound heavy metal with a fake wood grain uh, airsoft gun. Uh, interestingly enough, the gun itself has this quick disconnect system built into it, but it was disabled by one of the design choices. There's a screw, this one right here used to run all the way through, which locked these two pieces together. If you took this screw out, you could push this button and slide it backwards, but then that, that little button you push would immediately get stuck in the screw hole, so then you had to push the screw into the screw hole just right so you could get it out and pop it. So what I did is I pulled out this screw here, I drummled it in half and I just glued it back in there uh, so you don't have a weird gaping hole in there. And then I actually glued a little piece of plastic here that covers up that screw hole and gives um, that little quick disconnect button something to slide on so it doesn't get caught. And so just with those two little modifications, now it's relatively easy to just drop those in and clicks forward, everything is good. And then the other thing I modified is I went to town with the Dremel on this uh, magazine well. It was really hard to get these lined up. So modified the magazine well so it's a little bit easier to get everything in and out. And then obviously I wanted this to be able to pop apart really easily, nice and quick, like so. Now the violin case itself is actually a violin case I bought uh, probably a year ago. I was using it to store all of my mobster assassin stuff just for fun. I had already gutted it and ripped out the entire innards and so all I had to do was basically buy a bunch of upholstery foam and just cut a bunch of layers. Uh, I actually have two inch layers here with one half inch layer just to cover up the, uh, the parts where the actual guns sit and then I just took some leftover uh, velvet. Uh, this is actually velvet I bought for my Corvo mask. If you've seen my Facebook page you've seen that project. Uh, this is stuff I bought that I thought was going to be red and turned out to be a little bit too dark and so I had it left over and now it works perfectly for my nice mobster assassin thing. And then another little feature you saw earlier was up here. I cut out a little chunk and uh, made a little box here. This is just cardboard again covered in the same stuff which gives me a place to hide my airsoft accessories and some of the other stuff that goes with the costume. And then this little rag here is just some leftover fabric which helps protect these two parts from scratching one another. I managed to get it so that this uh, cocking lever here perfectly lines up with the screw hole, excuse me, with the trigger hole. And that way uh, these don't uh, scratch too badly on one another. But just like that, uh, you can see that is my new mobster themed violin case. So one of my bucket list props is officially off to the bucket list.